Hey guys! Welcome to our first episode of Basic C++ Tutorial. Yes, brand new series. So this is part 1 and for today, we are going to set up our IDE and run our first Hello World sa C++ language. So excited na ba kayo? Ako excited ng turuan kayo. So, bago tayo magsimula, here are some disclaimers for our tutorial. So number 1, this tutorial is made for complete beginners. So, itatakil ko lahat ng small details para maintindihan even yung wala pa talaga alam sa programming and yung wala pang alam sa C++ especially. So, number two, this tutorial will cover until we get through OOP. So, Object-Oriented Programming. So, para sa akin, ito yung pinaka-importante sa programming in the modern world. So, magbuna natin masyadong problemahin yan and let's start with our tutorial flow. So, for today, we are going to set up our IDE, Integrated Development Environment, and we will run our first Hello World. So, without further ado, let's just set up our IDE first. So, ano muna ba yung IDE? So, ang IDE is a specially made application para i-run natin yung code natin. So, may IDE na pang C++, may IDE sa iba pang programming languages. So, for the IDE ng C++, we have Visual Studio and Codeblocks, but we recommend Codeblocks more dahil sa file size niya na maliit lang kumpara mo sa Visual Studio na gig yung size niya. So, um, tuturo ko muna sa inyo kung paano install ang Codeblocks. So, ang Codeblocks is libre, so hindi nyo kailangan mong problema kung wala kayong pera. Wala din akong pera eh. So, let's go to Google Chrome or any browser na ginagamit nyo. Then, search Codeblocks. Search code blocks. So, ayan, unang-una siya mag-appear. www.codeblocks.org Now, pindutin yan. Of course, uh, and then, nandito na tayo sa website nila. Click downloads. Just click that download button. And then, hanapin nyo yung download binary release. So, eto yung download natin. So, just click that. Uh, so, eto, marami tayong option dito. We have code blocks 17.12 setup.exe. But, we want to download the one with the M-I-N-G-W para gumana siya for C++. So, don't ask me why kasi mali dito lang tayo lahat. So, just download this one. Code blocks 17.12 M-I-N-G-W setup.exe. So, on the right hand corner, we pipili tayo dito kung saan tayo magda-download. So, Foshaba or SourceForge.net. So, kahit ano naman pinutin nyo dyan. So, I'm just gonna click one of these and then wait for that to load. And yan, may your download will start shortly. Yes. So, automatically na siya magda-download. So, kakancel ko na yan kasi meron na ako yan. So, once you download that installer, open nyo lang. So, ito yung sa akin. Double click, as always, and then wait for it to load. So, just install it as it is. So, just click next. I agree. Next. Then, install. But, I'm not gonna click that kasi meron na akong naka-install sa aking computer. So, cancel na natin yan. So, um, after nyo i-install yung code blocks, just open that code blocks. So, ayan. Kunwari, na-open nyo na yung application. Hindi pala kung nari, open nyo talaga. So, ayan yung itura nyo pagkabukas nyo ng code blocks. So, um, wag kayo may intimidate kasi explain natin lahat yan. So, actually, isa lang yung pipindutin natin dyan eh. We want to create a new project. So, from the word itself, create a new project. Just click, create a new project. So, pagkakilik niya, meron maraming option na lalabas and we want to do a console application. We will tackle this on um, pagka meron pa tayong ibang series. So, sa console application muna tayo for beginners. And then, just click go. And then, next. And then, pipili tayo ng language which is C++. Yung gagamitin natin, just click C++. Next. Project title, kahit anong gusto nyo sa akin, YouTube tutorial. Okay, next. Okay, um, eto, i-review na lang at default. Kung may napindot mo kayo dito, ibalik nyo na lang kasi hindi gagana yung code nyo. Finish. So, yan. After nyo dyan, walang lalabas. Pero in your left hand side, may kita nyo YouTube tutorial. So, yun yung pinangalan ko sa project ko. So, kung ano yung pinala pinangalan nyo sa project nyo, yun yung lalabas dyan. So, under that, may sources tayo. So, if you pindot, if you pindot, <laughs> pagka pinindot nyo yun, Meron yun sa ilalim, sources. Tapos meron pang main.cpp. So, ayun yung 
code natin for C++. I-double click nyo lang yan and ma-open ang ating code. So, ito yung auto-generated code ng IDE natin. Dahil may IDE nga tayo, may kita natin kung may error ba or wala. So, ayan. Ito yung first generated code ng ating IDE. So, huwag muna natin isipin lahat ng code na yan. Magpo-focus tayo dito sa count less than less than hello world less than less than and L. Um, yun. So, um, so, balik tayo sa ating PowerPoint. So, next, we are going to discuss about the C out. So, eto yun, yung C out. C out. Okay. So, ang C out, ni-use niya ang dalawang less than signs to indicate characters to be displayed. So, yun nga. Less, the, yung dalawang less than sign, ibig sabihin niya, output stream. So, eto yung syntax niya sa ilalim. C out, less than less than, tapos um, quotation mark, tapos yung anything you like, kung ano yung gusto niyo, tapos quotation mark ulit sa dulo. So, para maintindihan niyo, we will have an application for that. So, na, bago natin palitan lahat yan, we will uh, teach you muna kung ano tong tatlong button na nandito sa taas na to. So, meron tayong build, meron tayong run, meron din tayong build and run. So, ang build, basically, sinasabi lang niya na pag samasamahin mo lahat ng code na yan, tapos i-save mo. Tapos, pero hindi niya i-run yun. Build lang yun. Para bubuhin lang niya code na yun. And then, next is run from the word itself. Run, hindi takbo. Papaganahin mo na yung code mo na na-build. So, yung isa naman from the word itself, build and run, sabay niyang gagawin. Pagka-build, i-run na niya. Actually, hindi sabay, pero magkasunod. So, I recommend na i-click na lang lagi natin ang build and run when we are running our program. So, once we click this, i-run niya yung code na nandito. Wait for it. Ayan, may lumabas na tayo na parang sa CMD. So, CMD talaga, hindi parang CMD. So, ayan, nakalagay, Hello World. Oh, bakit nga ba nakalagay na Hello World? Naalala niyo pa ba yung sinabi ko dito sa PowerPoint? Ang C out uses dalawang less than signs to indicate characters to be displayed. So, eto nga yun. C out. Tapos yung dalawang less than signs. Tapos, eto yung pinrint natin, yung Hello World. Tapos may dalawa tayong quotation marks. We need that quotation mark to indicate na text yun. So, this will happen pagka wala tayong quotation mark. So, close muna natin tong ating CMD na, na open. Then, i-build and run natin ulit. Look at that. Magkakaroon siya ng error. Ayan, meron sa baba. Error. Hello was not declared in this code. Kasi, pagka text, dapat meron lagi quotation mark. So, magkabilang dulo. So, if you run that again, gagana na yan. So, yan. Kung gusto natin palitan to, go nuts. Palitan niya. Hello, programmers. Yes. Um, close this. And then, pinutin natin yung build and run. Ayan, click. Hello, programmers! Yes, so, ang code natin ay nirarun from top to bottom. So, if we kinapi natin to and pinace natin to, ayan, hello world uli natin to. If we run this, as you can see, lalabas yan. Hello, programmers! Tapos, hello world sa ilalim. Kasi, minasa niya yung code from here. Tapos, pumunta siya sa baba. Tapos binasa din niya tong code na to. So, ang lumabas muna, Hello Programmers, Hello World. And if you are wondering kung ano to, yung dalawang less than, less than sign na yan, and then yung may end L sa dulo, it just means end line. So, kung ano yung end line from the word itself, tatapusin niya lang yung line. So, tanggalin natin, try natin tanggalin. Yan, tinanggal ko na. So, if we run this, mahuhulaan niyo ba kung ano mangyayari? Mawawala yung space niya. I'm, or I mean, new line niya. So, ayan, magkandikit sila mo. Hello, programmers. Plus, hello, world. So, again, if we put dalawang less than sign dito and end L, dahil hindi siya text, hindi natin kailangan lagyan ng quotation marks. And then, kaya lang natin ulit nilagyan ng dalawang less than sign, ibig sabihin, idadagdag natin siya. So, kung gusto nyo maintindihan kung ano pa yung less than sign na yun, dumari, dagdagay pa tayo ng dalawang less than sign dito. Tapos, naglagay ko tayo ng isang text. Hello world. Boom. So, tapos ay close natin to. Tapos i-build and run ulit natin siya. Ayan na. Hello programmers. Tapos may end line tayo. So new line. Hello world. Tapos binagdagan natin. Boom. Ayan o. Hello world. Boom. 
So, yun, guys. In for today, ito muna ang ituturo ko sa inyo. Meron pa tayong next episode na mas magiging exciting pa. So, guys, um, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from me today. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.